the Soft Moon Exister album review. Let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? Johnny, everyone spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album from The Soft Moon, aka Mr. Luis Vasquez. He is a LA-based artist and for many years now he has touched down on everything from post-punk to sort of industrial to dark wave to minimal wave some noise rock as well and back in 2010 with the project self-titled debut i instantly became a fan i was instantly hooked by this album's intensity its darkness its whisper quiet vocals and just how tortured it came off now around the time i was into bands like cold cave and trust and i thought louise with the soft moon was bringing a much more haunted approach to the to a uh, modern post punk than other bands it was cool to me it was very unique it didn't really sound like anything else it sounded like luis was haunting his own music with just how loud and looming and dangerous the instrumentals are and how whisper quiet and tortured his vocals were now i've always thought that his zeros album that came next was a, a bit of a letdown for me. It was gritty as hell, and it was really cool in parts, very noisy, but I thought the songwriting overall wasn't as good as it was on their debut album. If anything, I thought that Deeper was a really good medium for the Soft Moon. It was the perfect blend of sort of campy and weird and over the top, and also genuinely harrowing and twisted. Now, the last time we heard from the Soft Moon, they put out uh, the Criminal record, which I thought didn't get enough credit. And no, it is not perfect. It is downright terrible at parts. But it is also really raw. Their turn for the much more industrial uh, is really done very well. And it's noisy. And not only that, but Burn may be the best track that the Soft Moon have ever put out. Now, leading up to this new album, I was very excited for it. Just because... This is some of Luis's um, most human sounding and most personal sounding tracks to date. And let me tell you, even though this is his fifth album, a lot of this album feels like his coming out party. Sad song as an intro, I love this thing. This is not an intense or loud or noisy or throttling start. It is very pensive. It is dense. It is atmospheric. These synths are absolutely bone chilling. And Luis's vocals here are done perfectly in the sort of post-punk way when they're done so well that you hear them like from like inside your head it's a very atmospheric track that just sets the tone for this album so well and i love how oddly emotional it gets at times which is a running theme for a lot of this album on the other hand answers is much more upbeat it is a wild industrial jam like if criminal left you like is even somewhat guessing of the future of the soft moon this kind of seals it Luis has almost completely gotten away from the post-punk and the dark wave and going for a much more industrial sound and you know what it, it comes off really tasteful just because of how true to form to the sound of industrial as this is i mean it is so personal so self-loathing at times it brings me back to early nine inch nails and the groove on this track in its own way makes the track kind of a banger on the other hand uh become the lies may be the best track here and it's just a fantastic single all around it's a little new wave inspired at points but still very much so an industrial track uh albeit another very personal one it's also pretty catchy at points and Luis's vocals here are some of the most melodic that we get it's a really nice shift and it drives home just how human and upfront this album is, uh, despite how tortured it is. Monster is also so good. I mean, the narrative behind this album is done really well. This, once again, is so very personal. And Luis is incredibly heartbroken incredibly emotional vocal performance here just really just knocks it out of the park once again uh this is not a real rager of a tune it is pensive it is icy it is dreary and atmospheric as anything but it's actually pretty bone chilling now there are a few moments on this album that i worry that luis has kind of pushed himself a little bit too far take for example face is gone i'm sorry but this just sounds like a little too much of a stretch this to me just sounds like he should have like put the brakes a little bit on the industrial shtick listen i commend the intensity of this track and just how harrowed it comes off at times but lyrically this is one of the goofier tracks on here it also sounds like luis is just doing his best to rewrite i, I don't know march of the pigs 
And I think Nada is the worst track here. I, I would say that. And it's a shame because there are still some elements that I do really like about it. I do love that looming, very dreary punk bass riff. It brings me back to the earlier days of the project, gives me a little nostalgia. But this is easily the cheesiest moment here, like compiled into one track. The songwriting is just not cutting it, especially compared to the incredibly personal and emotional other tracks on here. Outside of that, though, I think this is one of Luis's most consistent records and a great modern industrial album. The Pit is one of my favorite moments here. It is noisy as hell. I love the tense synths and the weird ringing that comes along with this track. This track is wild. Between the weird groove, the pounding drums, this is one of the most intense things I've heard in any genre this year. It's all instrumental, but it adds just so much to this album's overall incredibly, unbearably dark narrative. And by the end, God, I almost have to hold my ears because it's so freaking noisy. And then we have Stupid Child, which is another instrumental, but this one takes us on a sort of cyberpunk romp. It's hazy, it's noisy as hell once again, and it's just really alarming. Once again, what a great use of an interlude, even though it is short. It's blink and you'll miss it. By the time we get to him featuring Fish Narc, I mean, it's all business right now. We get this really tense industrial groove. We get some icy cold synths and some of Luis's most ghoulish vocals. And the highly intense chorus of itchy, itchy palms, itchy fingers is so simple, but it just gets under your skin. So much of this album does. Unforgiven featuring Ali Logout is honestly just as raw, animalistic as a lot of other tracks on here. But I do love the hyperspeed drums and that looming bass riff once again. And the dual vocals between Luis and Ali Logout are a great touch. It just sounds so dangerous, but that's where I like my post-punk. That's where I like hearing the soft moon. And Exister, as a finale, this album's title track, man, it really does wrap a nice little bow around this very dark and tortured album. I love the shimmering, very cold production on this track. It reminds me very much of, like, the work of Blank Mass. It's patient, though, and in a weird way, it's kind of a reprieve for this album. The synths here are almost euphoric. You feel like you could breathe listening to this track. It's still dark and tortured, though, in its own way. I think this is one of Luis's most consistent records, um, honestly, in a really long time. Leading up to this album, I commended the singles for being very personal, very raw, very upfront, much more so than Luis's music has ever been. And the rest of the album does nothing else but that. And yes, there are a few moments where I worry that Luis has maybe pushed himself maybe just a little too hard into the industrial realm, some blips and blops, and yeah, this album could have been a little bit longer, but overall, I'm very impressed with this. This just sounds like his most upfront and most human release to date, while keeping things just as tortured and harrowed and incredibly dark, but I love that. I'm doing a light eight on this album, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.